Thoracentesis is indicated in patients who have a pneumothorax or pleural effusion, whether that be blood, chylothorax, pyothorax, or any other fluid accumulations. Following equipment is required. The Centesis valve chest drain adapter is a very useful device that replaces a three-way stopcock. The adapter is attached to the needle or to a catheter. Fluid or air is aspirated from the pleural space and then as the plunger of the syringe is ejected, the fluid is ejected out of the other port. Thorcentesis is performed at the 7th and 9th intercostal space. Ideally this should be counted, but in an emergent situation an imaginary line can be drawn from the xiphoid directly dorsally. This will be in the appropriate location. The needle is inserted into the skin, the dorsal third for air, ventral third for fluid. Once the needle has penetrated into the pleural space, it's advanced another two or three millimeters and then tilted laterally to ensure that the bevel is outwards and the needle will not insert into the lung as fluid and air is aspirated. If the thoracentesis was negative and there are concerns that the needle did not penetrate the pleural space, the needle is placed into the skin and saline is infused into the hub of the needle. The needle is then slowly advanced until the fluid is aspirated into the pleural space. If the fluid is forcibly ejected, the patient has a tension pneumothorax. Once in, the needle is advanced two to three more millimeters and then turned laterally, hooking up underneath the ribs parallel to the chest wall, and the centesis valve chest drain adapter is attached and aspirated.